Hello everyone, this is Height Journey. It's time for my monthly tibial x-rays. It's Friday, December 30th, 3.4 months into consolidation. Before we start analyzing the bone consolidation and formation, another important part to analyze is the hardware, such as the internal nail and the locking screws, because it's very important that they're not bending or breaking or in danger of bending or breaking, because if that were to happen, there will be some very serious problems. So let's start off with my lower tibias. My left tibia, this locking screw that secures the tibia to the fibula and also on the right side the locking screw is fine as well as these bottom locking screws in the rods. In my left tibia all the screws and rods are doing well no danger of breaking or bending so now let's examine the bone formation on my left tibia, it's getting a little better. Both the doctor and I were hoping for a little more consolidation, but, but it's still doing better and improving. There's a, the white part here, that's the calcified bone. And there's also a bridge forming here as well. And, and also it's more calcification in the fibula. Also ignore this thing that, that was accidentally put there by the x-ray technician. On the lateral view, you can see a better view. It's more clear on the fibula as well. I think it's because the fibula is closer on the lateral view, so that's why you can see it better. But you can see it's forming well, and it's getting thicker, and, and the part that's a darker, there's still callus there that's forming, so it has to calcify more, but it's getting better and no bone deformities. On my right tibia, it's doing better as well. It's even more solid. Could do a little more calcification on this side, but it's still doing very well, especially the fibula, that's doing very well as well. There's a little more calcification needed here, but still full weight bearing and very secure. So my left tibia is full weight bearing, but barely. I can walk independently without a crutch or a walking cane. I need to practice walking independently more often to get more weight bearing and exercise on my left tibia for better consolidation. That's because when I was using a cane on my right hand, I was only putting partial weight on my left tibia. So I think that delayed my consolidation a little bit, but now I'll be walking independently to get more exercise on my left tibia as well. I am limited to walking at a normal pace, three miles an hour at most. No athletic activities until I get more consolidation on my left tibia. For stairs, I'll be using a walking cane or a sturdy banister for assistance for the next few weeks, probably another two weeks. Physical therapy and gym exercises will include walking on treadmill independently to get more speed and distance. Also increasing weights or resistance for strengthening exercises. Here's the consolidation stages again. I'm on consolidation stage three. So I can walk independently. I might need a little help traversing the stairs, but I'll get there very soon, probably within two weeks. and. I'm focusing on restoring my walking gait. I'm not ready for light athletic activities yet. So I'm on consolidation stage three. The next video show how my walking gait has improved throughout December.
My dorsal flexion progress is also improving. Here's my progress. Last month I was at 10 degrees. Now I'm at 18 degrees. Finally, I want to go over another topic I haven't covered in a while. My sleep progress. You can see my daily sleep requirements have been declining over time. This also includes afternoon naps. Because as my body heals, I require less sleep. And I think I'll get to nine hours of sleep daily pretty soon.